Hello and welcome to No Excuses MTB and Weight Loss. My name is Mary Fran and this is where I come to talk about weight loss, mountain biking, life, anything that affects my overall health. Before we actually get into my new week, let's go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like, comment. I really do appreciate all that. It keeps me motivated to continue on this healthy journey. This week also started out just as crazy as last week, but for different reasons. On Saturday morning, we went to the mechanic to pick up my old car that they had told me was not worth fixing and was dead. And I knew that it was drivable because we had dropped it off. It was drivable. It just can't idle. When you come to a stop sign, the car idles so rough that it stops. They had told me that I had about a 50-50 chance of getting it home but we decided to try it because I didn't want to pay another towing bill. And I wanted to get it home so that I would have the time to clean out the car, to have someone else look at it, and to sell it for junk. So we took the car and Jason drove it for me. And he drove it with high RPMs and a low gear. And at first it was so rough, but about halfway home, something crazy happened. All of the lights on the dashboard that were telling us that there were problems went off and the car started to run as smooth as all get out. We do not know what happened. The best we can figure is I might've had a speck of dirt in my gas or something. I don't really know, but the car rides fine. We drove that car all weekend long. It was awesome because with the new car, we were not going to have a way to get our bikes to the trailhead. And that was going to have to be an immediate purchase was a bike rack, which I really didn't have the money for after buying the car and using my money for the down payment. So it was awesome because with the old car still working, we still have access to the bike rack. So we actually did go out for a bike ride this weekend. So the bike ride was another rough one. I feel like I'm regressing. I'm not gonna go into it because that'll post on Wednesday and you can find out about it then. We also went and walked around downtown Frederick over the weekend. And of course, when we saw a mask, we had to play with it. We also went ahead and walked through a graveyard. I like walking through graveyards. You don't have the traffic, it's quiet, it's peaceful. And some of these gravestones are amazing. This graveyard has the coolest little chapel, so that's awesome. We also did some geocaching. That is actually a hobby. Go ahead and look it up or talk to me in the comments and I'll tell you more about it. It's just a fun little activity. It is a great way to get out and move and you really don't realize you're moving because you're searching for something. So it's awesome. And then we stopped at a park and Jason was able to fly his drone, so that was good. Mm -hmm. So I am out walking today. What needs to be done that I've been doing on my lunch break is just not gonna get done. So it is Wednesday and here I am. My food and my eating have been in line. Everything is good. I actually have started walking on my lunch breaks and even more, Jason and I have actually the last two nights taken bike rides after work. We are just riding on our small trail that's behind our house. It's a paved trail. It's nothing fancy, but it gets us about a five mile ride in. So we are happy with that. And there are sections that do kind of push us a little bit and we are trying to push ourselves to be better each night. So I'm doing pretty good with exercise and food this week. I am not sure about my weigh-in. This month might be a total wash because right now my weight is up a little bit. It is the female hormones and water retention. So I know that's what it is, but I'm not sure it'll be back down in time for my weigh-in. It is what it is. So that's fine if october's a wash it's fine because i'm living life i'm learning how to deal i'm learning how to manage everything is good 
So here we are. It is the end of the week, and that means it is time for a weigh-in. And here is what I did. I'm actually okay with what I did. It is not the greatest. I did gain. I knew that I had recouped my vacation loss last week and I knew immediately I started to stress eat. I kept that under control, but then the whole hormonal water retention thing happened. So I'm still fighting that. I'm okay with it. November, I'm gonna nail it. And I am so close to the 100 pound lost goal and I am making plans for a celebration. There's gonna be a giveaway. Um, stay tuned for that. So I'm excited. I'm going forward. I'm letting no excuses stop me. This is a journey of a lifetime and I am on this journey and I'm going to nail this journey. No excuses.